How's it going everyone? My name is King Caliber and welcome back to another Skyrim Special Edition tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best bow at level 1 and probably one of the best bows in the game. This is the Dwarven Black Bow of Fate and the reason this bow is so good is because the enchantment has a 50% chance to absorb health, magicka, and or stamina so you are going to be absorbing one of the three most of the time. The way we are going to be getting this bow is by glitching through all of the doors that actually lead to the bow, and if you want to get this bow at level 1 as early as possible, you're going to want to skip the quest because it does take some time since you have to go around Solzheim collecting special gems to unlock the doors, but we're going to be glitching through them in this video, and we're going to need something to glitch through the doors with, so you can simply go to Dragon's Reach and collect all of the platters, which will be one thing that can help you get through the doors. I'm going to be using wooden plates for this, but collect at least three of the platters in Dragon's Reach so we can get through the doors and move on to the next part. But the location you're going to want to go for this bow is Solzheim here on the map and it's not going to be discovered in the beginning of the game but what you want to do is go to the Whiterun stables here on the map and you're going to want to run down the hill to the boating dock where you can get to Solzheim. Basically just come to the boat on the right and talk to Gael and Salt Sage and he's actually the captain of the ship and you can either pay gold to get there or pass a speech check if you have completed the way of the voice well, quest. I guess nothing bad happened the last time. Fine. We'll sail as soon as I get paid. Once you have made it to Solzheim, just open up your map and put a marker on Kagramez, which is the dwarven ruin that this bow is located in. Once inside, you're going to want to take a right and come down the stairs up ahead. And then through a hallway, you're actually going to see a door with some reavers inside. And they are actually the bandits of Solzheim. And you're going to want to kill them and you'll be able to get onto the next part of the glitch. These gems that you find off of the Reaver Marauder's body are actually Kagrama's Resonance Gems, and these are the gems that are used to get the bow legit, but to do this the fastest way, we're going to be using the platters that we collected from Dragon's Reach, since the gems are spread all across Solzheim and it's going to take you much longer. Just turn left and go up to the first door, and drop your platter. Like I said, I'm going to be using plates for this episode since I had an abundance of them in my inventory, but drop one, and we're going to be performing the glitch for this part. Just simply drop your platter and then pick it up and put it up against the door eye level and then you just want to keep running at the door until you are eventually able to get through it and you just want to repeat this same exact process for the other two doors ahead. If you activate this lever right here you can actually get a dwarven sphere or spider follower and they actually are pretty useful. So at this point, the bow is sitting on the other side of the room waiting to be taken, along with any of the other leveled loot beside it. Basically what we did is tricked the game into thinking that we completed the quest, because this quest was designed in a way that it's not able to be completed without the gems, but we were able to exploit it with the platters. Hmph! <laughs> 
So I hope all of you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, definitely leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future Skyrim Special Edition content. And I hope to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.